Well, welcome to Waters and Stanton. Uh, we're the Alleycraft UK distributors. And one of the questions we uh, often get asked is what does the KX3 look like inside and uh, how easy is it to fit extra modules? Well, let's, uh, let's today just show you this. Here we have a K KX3 that um, has uh, been built for about a year actually, it's our, it's our demonstration model. It comes apart rather like a clamshell, there's some knurled uh, screws on the side and um, you simply undo those slightly. I'll turn this around this way so you can get a better idea. And there we are. And then you can see a little KX3 open there. I think it's in the picture there. Okay, so here we have two halves. And uh, this uh, half here, the front the back half that uh, is in the picture at the moment, that's the control area of the transceiver um, with all the uh, control circuitry on it on single board. And uh, this bit here is actually the RF board. Um, a lot of it is masked by the battery tray. And um, with the KX3 you can power it either from uh, an external 12, 13.8 volt source going into the side socket or if you're going to go out portable then um, you can put some uh, rechargeable AA cells in. It takes eight AA cells. I suppose one of the uh, popular items to put in, in fact it is the most popular item to fit into the KX3, is the Auto ATU. This is the Auto ATU there. And it literally plugs in. It's a, it's a, a board um, about uh, four centimetres, I suppose, by about three centimetres, thereabouts. And it just plugs in. Um, held in with a couple of screws, you just have to remove the um, antenna lead from the main RF board and then reroute it onto the top of the board here. It's that simple. Um, there are one or two other things. There we've got uh, the um, extra roofing filter which you might need for, which uh, is designed for CW and that improves the, uh, the selectivity um, when you're operating in a uh, fairly narrow band mode down to about three or four 100 hertz or less. So it's that simple, that's how you open the KX3 and of course um, you do the opposite thing, it just closes in a sort of clamshell fashion there and all ready to go. Um, one interesting thing is that um, with the uh, batteries inside to recharge them, um, provided you've got the uh, recharge board that's fitted in there as it's an option, then all you need to do is to, um, in the menu system, ask the radio to recharge its batteries. And it's all ready to go. KX3. Amazing little radio.